Hi, I'm David, and this is my wife, Nava, and our son, Noam. Um, Noam was diagnosed with uh, Brown syndrome, and we had him checked out by uh, two doctors, uh, one Dr. Valdez and another doctor. Um, I think we ultimately chose to operate here in Codet in Tijuana with Dr. Valdez because she really took the time to explain what was the issue and uh, even gave us examples and uh, explained the medical part of it uh, while the other doctor just basically said he needs surgery. Um, we know Dr. Chayet for many, many years and we are very confident in the abilities of the Institute to be able to provide great medical service. Um, we even, even before the actual surgery, I did speak with uh, Dr. Chayette and he even told me that he basically, in a way, handpicked Dr. Valdez to come to the, his institute to become a doctor because of her expertise and knowledge and uh, treatment of very difficult cases, which was one of, which was our case with, with Noah. My wife, Nava, will tell a little bit more about so we noticed um, when he was like around four, he used to bump to our, a lot of furniture, a lot of walls in our house. We didn't know exactly. And slowly we noticed that his head was tilt. And so when he was young, it wasn't too bad. But slowly, slowly we thought that it's um, affecting on his life, um, especially when he started um, last year, first grade. He had a hard time reading. Um, he did, couldn't see the space between the words. Um, he used to take letters from one word to another word, and he would make his own. Um, so he felt uncomfortable. He used to memorize, so people will not know that he can read. Um, after the surgery, and I'm saying after surgery is three days after the surgery, we start reading. Uh, Noam didn't have to tilt his heads to find out what, where is the word, are, where is the letters. He could just keep his head straight and just read very well. So we are very, very happy. Uh, uh, we didn't even have the option, and our own pediatrician in the U.S. in San Diego asked, uh, yeah, why not? Why wouldn't we do the surgery in the U.S.? And it wasn't a financial issue. We have full insurance there, but. Ultimately, we, we really liked our experience and and really had the trust in, in the doctor, and especially Dr. Valdez, and we're just ec ecstatic about the results, and uh, we can't wait to see him thrive in school now that he's in second grade and actually going to be able to learn to read because he can literally see now. Yeah. One more thing that I want to say is that I really like and really appreciate that like you always take your time. It's always important for you not to come check and then we leave. It's always, you know, you, you build a very personal relationship with us and you ask so many questions so it's not all about the eyes. You want to know about his life and how it's affected um, the surgery and then also before. Um, and this is something very, very special. Not everybody's doing this. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your words.